If I lifted a stone, I would find silver or gold beneath it. Was known for his tall stature and strong build, I saw Abdurrahman ibn Auf crawling to enter paradise. What is happening in Medina? Why are you crying, O Abu Muhammad? Welcome back to 60 Men Changed History. In a serene day, Medina was calm and still. A thick cloud of dust suddenly rose on the horizon, moving closer with a gust of desert wind, giving the impression of an incoming storm. But instead of a sandstorm, it was the rumble of a massive caravan, over 700 camels, packed with goods, filling the streets and stirring excitement among the people. They rushed to witness this grand spectacle, hopeful for the blessings it brought. The inquiry of Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. Curious about the commotion, Aisha, the mother of the believers, asked what is happening in Medina. She was told, It is the caravan of Abdurrahman ibn Auf returning from Syria with his merchandise. Astonished, she remarked, A single caravan causes this much movement? Yes, mother of the believers, it is seven hundred camels, they replied. Aisha then recalled the Prophet's words. I saw Abdurrahman ibn Auf crawling to enter paradise. The generous heart of Abdurrahman. When these words reached Abdurrahman, he immediately remembered hearing the Prophet say this multiple times. Without hesitation, he declared, Bear witness, O mother of the believers, that this entire caravan with all its goods, saddles, and loads, is dedicated to the path of Allah. In a grand display of charity, he distributed the caravan's wealth to the people of Medina and its surroundings. His journey to Islam Born in Mecca around 580 CE, Abdurrahman ibn Auf was among the first eight to embrace Islam. When Abu Bakr introduced him to the Prophet's message, he accepted it eagerly. He migrated to Abyssinia twice, then to Medina, participating in every major battle alongside the Prophet. Physical Traits Abdul Rahman bin Auf was known for his tall stature and strong build, which enabled him to participate actively in the battles he fought alongside the Prophet, peace be upon him. He had a thick beard and a cheerful face, with a wheat-colored complexion, a common characteristic among the men of Quraysh. His features reflected firmness and strength, while at the same time embodying compassion and generosity. He was always smiling and concerned about the well-being of those around him. Humble Beginnings in Medina Starting from scratch in Medina, Abdurrahman resumed trading with integrity and diligence, eventually amassing significant wealth. His success was not marked by greed as he practiced honesty and fairness. He ensured accurate weights and sales, building trust among his customers. He never raised prices unjustly, believing in fair profit. Abdurrahman was transparent about his goods quality and accepted returns without question a blessing in his wealth. Abdurrahman's wealth, attained through permissible means, blessed not only him but also his community as he spent it generously in Allah's cause. When he once remarked, If I lifted a stone, I would find silver or gold beneath it. He did not speak of greed, but of a fruitful trade and trust in Allah's blessings. The Prophet's Counsel once, the Prophet told him, O Ibn Auf, you are wealthy, but you will crawl to enter paradise. Lend to Allah a good loan so he will set your feet free. Hearing this, Abdurrahman frequently gave in charity, even selling land worth 40,000 dinars and distributing it to his relatives, the mothers of the believers and the poor of Medina. Generosity in the Face of Wealth Abdurrahman's wealth extended to the people of Medina. A third of his fortune was loaned to those in need. 
Another third paid off their debts. The last third was direct charity. His companions noted, All the people of Medina are partners with Ibn Alf in his wealth. Have we been hastened our reward? One day, as he broke his fast, tears filled his eyes. He recalled, Musab ibn Umair, better than me, was martyred with nothing to cover him but a tattered cloth. Hamza was martyred, and we had no shroud for him. Overcome by emotion, he cried, I fear we have been given our rewards in this world. Humility despite wealth. Despite his wealth, Abdurrahman retained humility. People said that if a stranger saw him seated among his servants, they wouldn't recognize him as their master. He bore visible scars from Uhud, including a limp and missing teeth, humble reminders of his sacrifices. An endearing legacy. Near the end of his life, the mother of the believers offered to have him buried beside the prophet, but he declined, humbled by such honor. Instead, he chose to rest by his friend Uthman ibn Mazun, fulfilling a lifelong pact. As his soul prepared to depart, his eyes welled with tears and he murmured, I fear my wealth may prevent me from joining my companions. But peace washed over him as he heard the unspoken promise. Abdur Rahman ibn Alf is in paradise. Through his wealth, sacrifices, and unwavering faith, Abdur Rahman ibn Alf became a lasting example of true success, worldly fortune that neither compromised his faith nor lessened his humility. Truly, he lived a life that showcased how Islam transforms wealth into a path to paradise. The path to a brighter future lies in our hands. Together, we can rebuild a just and vibrant world. Taweed Foundation 60 Men Changed History.